Hello and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who doesn't know me, my name's Kat. I've been traveling around the world kind of for the last couple of years. Um, I'm currently based in Sydney and I arrived about three and a half weeks ago now. Little update on my situation. I was ill for the first basically three weeks of being here, but I am finally out of it. I am out the other side. I'm feeling much, much better and uh, raring and ready to get out of this house. I've been desperately trying to find a place to live in Sydney with my boyfriend. Um, we have finally found somewhere. We can't move in for another couple of weeks, but we have signed the contract. We will be moving into our own little place in Sydney in a couple of weeks time. In the meantime, we are staying at Ollie's family friend's house, which is very, very kind of them to let us stay. Anyway, back to the subject of this video as you will have seen in the title I am very hungry and there's no real food in this house the people who own the house are away on holiday and Ollie literally went to Thailand this morning so I'm on my own there's no food I'm really hungry and I need to do a supermarket shop so come with me to an Australian supermarket Woo! Okay, we are in the car. Um, sorry if you can hear the aircon. It's all. <laughs> sorry if you can hear the aircon. It's um, quite warm in here because I didn't put the sun shield on. So um, hut hut hut. But we are gonna go to the supermarket. But I was just thinking, I usually would go to Aldi, but I don't feel like that's good Australia content. We need to go to an Australian supermarket. So I think we're gonna go to Coles. Coles or Woolies? We're gonna go to Woolworths, not uh, the classic old UK shop Woolworths, but the most common or well-known or, it's kind of like the more budget end of the supermarket chains in Australia, I think. Let's start the directions. Okay, wish me luck. Just parked in the car park and come up with my trolley and realized I don't think I've actually been to a Woolies yet. I think this is my first time in a Woolies. So, this is your first experience too. Welcome. Cute, they've got all the Christmas stuff. Oh, I love it. Right, this is one of my biggest bugbears. Look at the price of the broccoli. 7 dollars kilogram. I do want a broccoli, but I don't think I need loads. Something I haven't managed to find yet in Australia is some good Spanish chorizo. It's not doesn't seem like it's a big thing here like there's loads of like sliced stuff but I just want like the long I mean, like long I was gonna say dried sausage <laughs> I don't think that's what it is but you know what I mean good proper Spanish street stuff I just can't find it wild flavors of chocolate bars just a quick interruption to say if you haven't already clicked it please click the thumbs up button if you're still watching one thing that really stresses me out about the supermarkets here is the lack of squash. They have this whole bit dedicated to um, juice, but this is all just juice. There is no squash. And I live on squash. <laughs> I'm a squash girl through and through. Robinson's apple and black currant. <laughs> And I did actually manage to find it in some places in uh, New Zealand, but I'm not having much luck so far in Australia. Oh my goodness, I found the craziest. Um, I love when you go to other countries and you find like brands from home, like brands from the UK, but so many different flavors like Cadbury's. They have so many flavors of Cadbury's. In India, they had loads of wild Cadbury flavors. I've just found Heinz beans. Mental, look at this. We've got taco flavour. We've got caramelised onion flavour. What else? 
Oh, also the pots are like small, like I don't know if you can tell on here, but that is a small can of beans. They've also got barbecue sauce and, ew, ham sauce, what the hell is ham sauce? <gasps> Gross, oh my God, and chili beans. I feel like they've done something like this in the UK. Okay, success. I'm back in the car. I've just packed my bags, just paid for my shop. I'm gonna go home and I will show you what I've bought and go through a receipt and tell you how much it costs. See you at home. Okay, hello, I've got my hair. I really need a haircut. I need someone to sort out my hair because it's just not, I don't, I just don't love it and I don't know what to do with it at the moment. It's just Anyway, let's very quickly go through this haul. I might have to have a banana though because I am so hungry. Uh, where are the bananas? <laughs> Finished my banana and I'm ready to film now. <laughs> I've got the receipt here of everything I spent. I didn't buy loads and loads of stuff. I'm only here for a week. Um, I think I've got enough food to get me through. I hope so anyway. I might need like a couple of extra top ups in the week. So I just got a few bits and bobs. I'll walk you through it and I'll tell you the prices. So we're gonna start with the fresh produce because that's at the top of the receipt. So we've got two potatoes. They came to $2.33. By the way, all these prices will be in Australian dollars. $2.33 for the two white potatoes. The bananas, there were four of them, they were $3.97. Two onions, which came to $1.45. Oh my God. Broccoli is really weirdly expensive, like one of the cheapest veg in the UK. But here, this was $2.58 for this broccoli tree, which I would say is very small, like it's not much bigger than my hand. I do have big hands, but it's not that big. So this is a, a really small broccoli, as you can tell. And it was $2.60, which is about £1.30 in UK money, which, if I'm not wrong, mistaken, is about double the price of broccoli in the UK. Why? Please tell me, Australia, why is broccoli double the price? It's widely available. Very strange. Anyway, it's the same in New Zealand, even more expensive in New Zealand. Outrageous, if you ask me, but... I like broccoli, it's really good for you. I'm gonna buy it. Moving on. Then I got this nice hefty carrot. This was 47 cents, so like 20, 25p-ish. Pretty good, I reckon. Um, big old red pepper, another expensive one. This was 2.51 as well. So this is basically the same price as the broccoli, just like one pound thirty for just one red pepper. It is big though. It is very big. It's probably the size of two small ones. Two nectarines. These were one dollar fifty eight. Pack of mushrooms, five dollars fifty. So mushrooms quite expensive. Avocados, one dollar thirty each, which I think is pretty good going for avocados. So they're quite big. They're has avocado. Avocados, they're lovely. And then the asparagus, $1.50 for a bunch of asparagus. $3.50 for this pack of strawberries, which is like $1.75. Not bad. Moving on to the kind of less healthy slash cupboard food. These fish fillets, which were $4.50, which I actually thought was really good value. Most of the fish fillet stuff is like seven, eight, nine, ten dollars so that was great value, I'm sure, because they're own brand, I'm sure they're not as good for you and not as tasty or whatever, but I can't, I'm not fussy, whatever. Sounds great to me. I got some free range chicken breast fillets. These were $9.50, so they'll go in the fridge. That's, you can't really see because they've condensated, but there's three big breasts in there, so that will do me for the week easily. Chopped tomatoes one tin for one dollar 45 not bad at all baked beans english recipe i'm really intrigued we've got another tin of baked beans in the fridge heinz uh, but they don't say english recipe and i do think the beans are different here and in new zealand that's where i really know it from so i'm very interested to know if these actually taste different i want to do a taste test so side by side anyway heinz beans were Two dollars eighty. So that's one about one forty. By the way, if you hadn't already worked it out, the English pound conversion is about half, but just slightly more. So if something's like four dollars, it's two pounds, but it's probably like two pound five p. 
Okay, carrying on, we've got chicken stock cubes. These OXO stock cubes were $2.30. I got a bag of pasta. This was literally $1. We like that. 50p, not bad. 500 gram bag, we'll take it. Then I got a bit carried away and went in for the sweet treats. <laughs> So these fresh cream eclairs, yum, as you can see, they were on sale, which is what tempted me. $3.46 for two of those. I got some Mr. Kipling slices because, I mean, I never even buy these at home. I don't know what got into me, but I saw them on the last time we were in a shop and I was like, oh, I really want to get them, but I didn't. So this time I did. Got them. This. This in the fridge is my absolute dream and it makes me feel like I'm on holiday. Oh my goodness. Shout out to my nails. <laughs> that is the most embarrassing thing ever. Um, that's absolutely horrendous. I've been ill, okay? So I haven't, I haven't been and got them refreshed slash removed. They are actually my nails. It's just Biab stays on for freaking ever. I thought I'd be able to peel them off. Nope. Anyway, that's going to be a job for this afternoon. Um, now I feel like I can't point with my <laughs> fingers. This is my absolute dream. It reminds me of holiday. When I was little, I used to, when we used to go, we used to go to France on holiday every year. And we would, we'd always have some fridge chocolate. I don't, we never had put chocolate in the fridge at home, but on holiday we always did, I think just cause it's hot. Yeah, it just reminds me of holiday and I, I love it. I never really buy this for myself at home, but when I'm abroad, it's acceptable. <laughs> anyway, last but not least, I couldn't resist the Tim Tams. I actually didn't buy these for a snack. I actually just bought them uh, because I'm gonna do a separate video and I'll give you a sneak peek of some other bits I bought over here. Um, some Australian sweet treats. And I think I'm gonna do a little video trying all the different Australian sweet treats. So stay tuned for that one. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a short video or a long form, who knows, but Oh, it's coming. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about these. What the hell? I don't know if these are just Australian or if they're new in the UK as well. I don't know. I've never seen them before anyway. So that whole shop, and that's including those sweet treats I just showed you, came to $80.08. So it was about £42 once I paid. Um, when I paid with my Monzo, it came to about £42 with the exchange rate. Um, so do you know what? I don't think that's too bad considering I bought those treats, which I would never usually do. About $15 worth of sweet treats, if not more. So take that off and I'm not too upset by that cost, to be honest. New Zealand groceries were a hell of a lot more expensive than they are here. So that is a very nice surprise. Despite having a little banana snack. I am absolutely starving still. So I am gonna have to put this stuff away and make some lunch. But thank you so much for coming to watch my video today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification so you get updates of when I upload. As I said, I'll be uploading a Australian sweet treats trying video at some point soon. Um, and there's plenty more Australian content to come. I'll see you very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.